This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're outside Region 3 headquarters this morning with Julie Cunningham. Julie, you've been busy. We've talked about it before. Uh, you have an ongoing uh, effort with uh, mountain goats, specifically in the Bridgers. Let's talk about some of the things because those mountain goats are always there and there's a lot of us there as well. Let's talk about some of those things that we can help uh, not disturb the goats so much. Let's talk about some of those safety factors, I guess. Sure, you bet. We're really fortunate to have such a great mountain range to recreate in and to be able to share it with mountain goats. And there's some ways we can do it responsibly. Mm -hmm. So first is keep your dogs under control. Nannies will want to defend their kids, and we have had reports of dogs getting gored. Some people don't know this includes at night. Goats can move around nocturnally. They can be right outside your tent. So if your dog wants to go out in the dark, um, take, go out with it, keep it on a leash, keep it under control. That could be a situation your dog could get in trouble. Yeah. So another one um, is to manage attractants. So if you get really hot and sweaty with your backpack and then you leave your backpack, goats could come up and lick at the straps. Um, if you're, you have to go to the bathroom, you urinate away from your tent, your human urine can actually be an attractant to mountain goats. So they can come up and investigate that. Um, just don't panic if you do see mountain goats. I mean, they're very habituated or tolerant of people, especially if it's Sacagawea. Um, so don't panic if you see them. But if they do start to come too close to you or behave aggressively, um, what you want to do is be big, yell. You can even throw stones. That's OK if the goat's really close and you're afraid and it's aggressive. And then please report any encounters like that to us. We haven't had too many bad encounters like that in the Bridgers yet, but let's keep that from happening by, uh, by monitoring that. This is one of those things we can be in the same area now. We just have to take a little special uh, care when it comes to that, whether if they're uh, on the trail above you, be on the lookout for those kind of things as well. Oh, absolutely. Goats kick rocks. So they're walking on their mountain trails and rocks can start falling and uh, they could hit you if you're below. So if goats are above you, be on the lookout for falling rocks. And, you know, you'll see goats pretty close to you and there's no reason to panic. But if they do start uh, coming too close, that's something that we want to keep our eyes on and watch for. Uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of people on this uh, planet that will never have a chance to see that. Uh, the proximity to these goats, uh, that's something that we should take uh, great uh, pride in, but also take great respect in taking care of as well, I would think. We're in a really good place in Bozeman and the Bridgers, and we want to keep it that way. Goats are visible, they're watchable wildlife, um, but let's just take some precautions and recreate responsibly so we don't get into a place where we have some, some real challenges. <laughs> I think it's uh, important maybe hit that part again. If there are some concerns or you have some questions, you folks can have those answers, and, and you want to know what's going on out there with the goats as well. Oh, absolutely. If you have any encounters that are frightening to you, concerning to you, or you have any questions about, please give me a call. I'm happy, always happy to talk mountain goats with people. Before we go, though, I think you have this great catch line. If we're going to be in an area where there are mountain goats, uh, give me the line because I love this. Okay, don't poke the goats. So if goats do come too close to you and you have a hiking pole, resist the temptation, don't poke the goats. That elicits a response, they may poke back. They may get aggressive or territorial. They may see it as a dominance behavior. So you can throw rocks, you can yell, you can be loud, but don't poke the goats. There we go, well said. Julie Cunningham, uh, we'll check in with you again as that uh, study progresses. And that's this week in Fish and Wildlife. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.